No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have actually found a exosuit um, capsule. And we're going to land here because we will, uh, this will actually stay marked on our map, and we can come back here later to, to get an exosuit upgrade. We can't get it right now because it requires material that we we don't have access to yet. Um, most namely a, um, a uh, much of a call it thingy. Yeah, an antimatter housing. Uh, this is just sodium and this is carbon nanotubes. We need an antimatter ha housing. And once we do that, then it's going to give us a new slot in our suit. But more importantly, for the time being, um, this is now marked on the map and we can come back here later, which is cool. Uh, okay, so, whilst we're here, is there anything to loot? Radiation Not really seeing anything else to loot, so... Um, I guess there's a container over here we could look at real quick. Okay, our life support's getting really low, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, and we're going to add one of our life support gels. Oh, it consumed both of them. Dog on it. Okay, yeah, I forgot. We need to use those one at a time, otherwise it'll take them both if you're almost all the way down. Okay, well, not a huge deal. We can make another one. Um, let's, uh, let's see. What do we need for one of those again? Life support gel. Uh, dihydrogen jelly. There we go. Okay, we're good. Um, is that a cave? No, it's just a big thingy in the ground. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna, s I, I, it's only been like maybe one minute for me, since I left you in the last episode, I'm going to continue flying around just a little bit more before we uh, give up the search for a space station and just plant a base down somewhere. Um, so we're going to continue heading north. Let's do it. All right. Fantastic. We have found a, uh, a terminal um, and a landing pad. The landing pad means we can land for free. Or more specifically, we can take off for free. Except for I missed it. <laughs> Dang it. Um, well, that sucks. Okay, well, so that means we're going to have to make another... Uh, well, I guess we have another launch fuel. Let's make sure we're right over this so we don't screw it up this time. There we go. So, yeah, when you land on the launch pads here, then you can take off... Uh, without expending fuel. That's the main thing there. Fantastic. Okay. Um, sometimes there's stuff to loot. And let's also do this for the save point and for the mapping of the region. And the data. Data stuff. That. Oh, nice. We got a life support gel. The game's given us a life support gel back for consuming both of them. And the, looks like we have some gek here. Let's talk to this guy. Small creatures busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Sensing me, their eyes widen in anticipation and they rub their fingers together greedily. Okay, we can't understand what he's saying right now, but over time, as we start to learn the Gek language, we'll be able to understand what they're saying. The life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on the pad and then bounces up and down. A relaxing perfume fills the air, a relief after the menacing radioactive air on the planet's surface. Uh, so... We're trying to decipher what he's asking us, and it's pretty obvious that he wants money. He's clearly thrilled, and they give us a piece of technology in exchange. What do we get? Uh, a B-level scanner module. Nice. Okay. That doesn't suck. Let's go on into here. Now, this is a weapon. Let's see what kind of weapon it is. It's an A-level weapon. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's compare it to our, our current weapon. So, basically... It does a ton more damage, a little bit more scanner range, and it has 18 slots. It's going to cost a cool 4.7 million credits for us to buy this, but um, I think it's probably going to worth it, uh, be worth it for us to do that, um, which is another reason why we should set up base here and start farming uh, in order to, uh, to, to purchase this weapon, because that's a pretty nice weapon. Okay, so uh, for now, let's go ahead and just leave that there. Now, um, encrypted navigation data, we can turn that in for star charts. Is this, that's the same guy we just talked to. Okay, so this is the trade terminal. This is the other reason why I wanted to come uh, find this place. 
is we can buy and sell things. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sell. And um, the slimes and a lot of the, the junk and stuff that you get, you can actually turn into nanites. But we, ha we need to have, like, I think a medium or a large refiner for that, which we're not ready to do. So we're just going to sell that stuff for now. Uh, we will keep the projectile ammunition. Um, we'll keep, mm, yeah, let's just sell the salt. Salt's easy to get on this planet for now. But anything, you know, that, that is immediately useful to us, we don't want to sell yet. Okay, let's switch over to our starship. We'll sell all the goop and that and that. And we'll sell the silver. And we're good to go there. Okay, so for buying, I want to see if... Okay, yeah, he doesn't have any of the wire loop thingamadoodles. Um, I think we have to go up to the space station for that. Okay, now there should be another vendor. Yeah, there he is in here. And we can get modules and stuff from him and blueprints. Okay, so let's take a look at components first. Oh, we can, actually, we can get the wiring loom, for, wiring loom from him. We need this for the advanced mining laser. Um... We'll have to earn some more credits, but that will not be a big deal. Here's an antimatter housing. We should probably consider buying this and going back to that, that other place so we can get that suit upgrade at some point anyway. <clears throat> All right, let's um, let's uh, look at his blueprints. Uh, purchase blueprints. Okay, we can buy an advanced mining laser blueprint from him okay that's a hazard protection 20% uh, which wouldn't be bad to have that's a waveform recycler uh, scan radius that's a jetpack boost so all this stuff is pretty good stuff um, but I think what we <clears throat> I'm not positive but we might be able to uh, we might get this as a, uh, a quest reward later on, so I think I'm going to hold off on getting the advanced mining laser for the moment. Fantastic, okay. Let's make some carbon out of these plants. And all right, you guys, we are ready to set up our, our base. And so what we're going to do is let's set it up over here. So the first thing we need to do is put our base computer down. And so we're going to go into the build menu, grab our base computer, and we're just going to put it right here. All right. Searching cartographic archives. Universal archive search reveals no prior claims on the site. Sonar test confirmed site is suitable for construction. Claim site? Yes, indeed. This is now our new base location. Among other things, we'll be able to fly back here. Uh, now because it'll be marked as one of our bases and we can teleport to here once we get the the uh, Teleporter gate thingies going too. Nice, okay now let's look back in here again, and it should give us blueprints for just basic uh, wood structure uh, Entry 4925 Delta follow storm sweep across Gazit. The construction supplies are low Depositing shelter plans while Gazit need to Gazit back soon Okay, extract plants, and we have now learned uh, the basic wood structure, which is all we need to get started. Okay, so um, we're going to need um, carbon to build this stuff. So what we're going to do is... Um, let's just kind of face this direction, and we'll go into the build menu, and we're going to go to timber structures, and we're just going to do a 2 by 2 for this base. Oh, nice. We have a storm coming up. Okay, great. Um, let's go to walls. Oh, we need more carbon. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to shelter um, from the storm. Oops. So we'll do that, and I will bring you guys back when the storm is finished, and we will continue. Well, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait for the storm to pass. I'm going to go gather a bunch more carbon, and then when we have enough carbon to continue the base build, I'll bring you back at that point. All right, guys, I'm back. The storm is done, but I noticed that we have uh, a cave over here, and from this cave, we can get cobalt, and then from there, we can make 
um, hazard suit recharges and shield recharges for our ship. So I figured I'd come down here and um, mine up some of this cobalt and get some of that going. We get cobalt and dihydrogen from this stuff. So yeah, let's get some cobalt first and then we need to get some more uh, carbon too. Like I said, I haven't done that yet. And then uh, we'll get started on the base. Oh, we got some platinum, nice. That we can turn into nanites too when we have the right refiner. Okay, those were nasty plants. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, that's just more carbon. Oh, oh, well, actually we need carbon, so let's grab it. Oh, my frame rate got really bad in here all of a sudden. No better, I think I was playing Icarus. <laughs> I love Icarus, but man, the performance in that game is terrible. At least on my machine, anyway. We got a geode. That's kind of like a, a condensed version of what'll probably be cobalt or the next level of cobalt. Condensed cobalt or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. We'll figure it out though. Okay, let's go a little further into this cave. That's just more carbon there. Okay. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Um, we have quite a bit of carbon there. Um, let's crack open this guy, and that gives us more cobalt. We have 339 cobalt there, which is good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make an ion battery uh, with cobalt and ferrite dust. And we're actually going to make uh, multiples of these. If I go into here... No, that's not what I want to do. There's supposed to be a way that I can make a bunch at the same time, like queue them up. Oh, change craft amount with A and D. Gotcha. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so let's just make um, 10 of these. Oh, it makes them instantly, too. Interesting. Okay, good. Okay, so again, we can use this to recharge our hazard protection, but we also can use it to recharge the shields on our ship, which is going to be important when we get into, um, you know, combat. We also have this scanner module. Let's install this and we'll put it there, but we're going to want to put it next to our scanner. So we press E to move the visor out of the way and then put that next to it. And it puts a, a yellow um, border around it, which means it's now improving this. Uh, and oh this is good you guys actually look at this we're gonna get a uh, 2,000 over 2,000 percent for flora 4,000 percent for minerals and 4,000 uh, percent for fauna oh no the other way around basically we're gonna get a lot more money now when we scan stuff so that was actually really good that we got that okay let's get out of this cave man it is just killing my frames um, if if we get out of the cave and the frames are still bad, I might have to restart. Um, I don't think my computer is doing it, a virus scan or anything like that, but yeah, this is this is not good. Maybe there's something in the cave that's not a texture that's not optimized or something. Or yeah, we still have really bad frames out here too. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's hop in the ship and and we'll get a save point. And I'm going to just have to restart, so I'll be right back, you guys. All right, guys, we're back and we got our frames back. So let's continue working here on our, <clears throat> excuse me, our little base. So we're going to go to here and grab some walls. 
And put a wall there, a wall there, a wall there. A wall there. No, not there. Damn it, Jim. A wall there. One there. And let's see, to get, to take this back down, build, rotate, cycle, scale, model, edit, build. How do I remove this? Toggle edit build? Edit mode. X to delete. Okay. Alright, now um, what we want here is we want to go with the door. There we go. Okay. And then we want to go with ceiling pieces. Uh, oh, that. What's that, a window? Extruded timber wall. Alright, no, we don't want that. Um, how do I get back into cycle park? That just cycles through the walls. Colors, rotate, shift, scale. Oh, park cannot be resized. Very interesting. Uh, okay, toggle, edit, build. I guess I have to... Get back out and then back into the build menu. Not sure. Okay. Uh, let's go with. We're just going to do the flat timber roofs because um, we're not um, getting fancy with this at all. It's just just to get us started. Um, how do I pull that back? Rotate build site part. I don't know. I guess I have to be. Back far enough myself. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done this. Like four years a while, so. <laughs> um. Okay, so we now have a shelter here. And, uh, looks like we recharge pretty quickly in here, too, unless that's... Well, this wouldn't affect that, because that's for radiation. Or for, um... Not radiation, but poison. Okay, doesn't my dude have a light? Light? Is there a... Let's look at the controls. Okay, so while we're on foot, tag... Those are all move. Activate torch. T. There we go. Okay. Um, alright. So... Base computer log update. Let's see what the base computer has to say. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925 Echo follows. Construction largely Gazette. A success. Recovered salvage data from nearby Gazette. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Begin searching. Extract plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Um, so we now have a construction research unit. We're going to need magnetized ferrite to make that, which we're going to have to use our, um, our refiner for. Okay, so I think we can put the refiner inside of our building. Um, I'm going to see if I can remap T to L for light, because t torch is, is the British version of a flashlight, but that's just not intuitive to me. Um, but we got to see what L is currently being used for, if anything. Uh, it doesn't look like it's being used for anything. Okay, so let's make that L. Okay, good. Much better. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put down our... Can we access the build menu from here? Summon vehicles, recharge, gestures, the quick menu, utilities, toggle torch, toggle camera, bite beat library. That's probably like a radio thing. Charge secondary weapon, swap multi-tool. Okay. No, it doesn't look like we can get into build mode from that menu. All right, let's go back here. We want to put our refiner down. We'll just put it right by the door. Okay, let's open it up. And we'll throw some carbon in there for fuel. And to make magnetized ferrite, we need to put 
condensed or pure ferrite ferrite in. All right, that's gonna make us 23. How many did it say we needed to make this? 20. Okay, so that'll be enough. Nice. And then this allows us to research more building um, pieces that we can do. Fantastic. Okay, we'll put that in our exosuit. And then we're just going to go here and we'll put the construction unit thingy. Oh, we also need to make a carbon nanotube. Really? I'm out of carbon? Wow. Okay, let's go get some carbon. Oh, we'll hit these trees up here. Can we scan that? How about that? Radiation protection. Yeah. Yes, we're going to make a lot more money scanning now, so I need to remember to do that whenever possible. Thanks to that new add-on that we have. Carbon and oxygen from that. There's some actual carbon carbon over here. Well, the crystallized form of it, I guess I should say. Let's kill this guy so he doesn't bite us later. All right, yeah, here we go. Condensed carbon. I like myself some condensed carbon. That's too big for us to get right now. Oh, okay, let's analyze this. Now check this out. We got nine, almost 10,000 credits by scanning that, whereas before we would have gotten maybe 100. <laughs> uh, so that's really cool. Um, I think this is a thing over here. Uh, we're going to be going after buried technology, floating crystals, yeah. I don't think we can do anything with floating crystals right now, but we get some really good stuff out of that once we get the advanced mining laser, I believe. Let's just go look at that real quick. This is some food, sweet root. Um, we can eat that to recover hazard protection. So why not? Let's do it. Okay. Advanced mining laser required. Yeah, okay. So we can't do anything with that until we find the laser. Have we scanned you? No, but there's something over there we haven't scanned. Anything around... Okay, there we go. Okay, we got 11,000 credits for that. 11,000 for that. Just seeing if there's anything else we can scan and get some more money. We'll scan all of those things. Okay. Alright, let's keep uh, collecting a little bit more carbon and then we'll head on back. And we got a milestone. Uh, here's something to scan. Space Trucker, earn 89,000 units. Very nice. And what is it that it wants us to scan? It says there's something over here we don't know. Ferrite dust, condensed carbon. Uh, unidentified material, right there. Almost 10,000 for that. Radiation protection. Um, have we scanned that? Yes, blindite, it says. Yeah, all that has been scanned there. Here we go. Something new. Salt and ferrite dust. Unidentified plant. Really? I thought we'd already scanned that thing. Apparently not. Almost 12,000 for that. We've got, um, have we scanned you? Okay. Um, what is this? This is uranium. You know, that would be actually useful to get. And this is a strawberry. Strawberry, I believe, gives us life support. Uh, so let's recharge our life support with the strawberry. And we'll recharge 
a little bit of our radiation with the sweet root and we also have all these ion batteries too um, here is a geode that gives some more ferry it looks like let's put this down here radiation protection for okay um move and stack stack items split items or move to other inventories how do i just do one discard quick transfer quick we send uh, split items. Switch inventory, change stack size Q and E. Okay. There we go. All right, and we're gonna recharge with that. Okay, let's get some of this stuff since we're here. Um, Cause this is gonna come in handy later on for various things. Another milestone has been accomplished. Trader. Very nice. Okay. Uranium's either used to recharge our ship shields or it's fuel for our pulse engine. I can't remember, but I know we need it, so we're going to grab it while it's here. I think I may have explained to you guys, those of you who are new to the game, about the changing the size of this, but if you, if you make it larger, you can mine much larger chunks, but you get less resources. If you make it smaller, it takes takes it longer to mine, but you get more material. So unless you're in a big hurry or you just don't care, you just need a little bit of something, it's always best to have this on the small setting so you get the maximum amount of resources. If I already explained that earlier, I apologize. I'm old and sometimes I forget things. Okay, that's good enough. That is good enough. We got some uh, stuff that we can loot over here. Um, I don't even. I didn't even see what we got. Where are we going? We're going back this way. And we scanned you. Yeah. Okay, let's head on back. Um, we can actually duck down in here. Uh, to recharge our hazard suit and while we're down here I might just go ahead and get some more cobalt and mine a few more resources while we recharge so I'll see you guys back at the base okay we are back in the base now and so I think we need to make some carbon nanotubes to put down the uh, construction unit there we go Okay, we'll just set it right next to here for now. And cool. All right, so now we can start learning some new stuff. Diagnostic, something or other. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and analyze a thingy. Okay, research building. Research structures, research building tech. Buildable technology. Okay, so this gives us a tree. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So we need to unlock the teleport module with some salvage data. We already have all that unlocked. So basically the salvage data um, is very valuable to sell, but it's also uh, essentially the currency that we need to unlock these building items. Okay, while we're here, I got a whole mess of carbon while we were out and about. So let's fill that all the way up. And we're going to, what does this um, do? Oh, no. We don't want to do that. Why don't we... Can we turn these into nanites? Yeah, let's input items low. That means we don't have enough... Okay. We don't have enough to uh, to do that. I just want to get something going in here so it's doing something. Sodium, silicate, chromatic metal, oxygen. We could... Um, here, let's just do ferrite dust, I guess. And when we get a, 
a larger refiner, we can add oxygen and some other reagents, and we actually get a, a better ratio when we're refining that stuff, but we can't do that with a basic refiner. All right. Have you been scanned? Yes, you have. Okay, what are we doing? We're looking for buried technology now. Um, so, let's get our scanner on. And... Subterranean relic. Okay. We're looking for those things there. So let's tag that. Okay, let's go. That's new. Oh, no, it isn't. Never mind. We've scanned the little dragon feller. Dragon looking creature. Yeah, look at you and your bad self. Okay, let's go into dig mode and um, we're going to make this big so we can do a lot of digging real quick. And we get technology modules. Salvage data? Okay, so we should get two of those. Very good. Okay. Now, you. If we just sell these outright, we can get 104,000 units. They're about they're 52,000 units each. But for our purposes at the moment, uh, we want to use that to unlock some more building pieces. Nice hole in the ground there. Analysis unit online, okay, uh, research buildable technology, and we can now unlock the base teleport module with the two salvage data. Very good, now we can make a teleporter. This is going to be very useful, so metal plating, four, two carbon nanotubes, and sodium. Alright, so let's go here. Oh, guess who put all of his ferrite dust inside of here? Alright, <laughs> go get some ferrite dust. Oh, is there a storm going on out here? Uh, I believe there is. Okay, we're going to have to wait for that to finish. Alright, while we're waiting for that, what else did we need uh, to make the... Come on, hit the right button, OG. There we go. Uh, Alright, to make the teleporter. Uh, we can make two carbon nanotubes. So, um, go... D to make two. All right, we got that. We just need to go get a bunch of ferrite now uh, to make the metal platings. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta wait for the storm. All right, uh, when I have enough ferrite to make the platings, I'll bring you guys back. We'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we should have enough now to make all of the uh, plates that we need. So we want um, to make four of these. And now we should be able to make our uh, teleporter. So let's go here, and we're going to put this uh, just right here is good enough. Uh, like I said, this isn't really our base. It's just enough to get the questing done, so I'm not too particularly concerned about how things are set up. Now, we're going to need to uh, provide power for this. So let's go, uh, let's also look at the base computer here too, because there's something I want to do. Uh, we want to name this base, and we're going to name it according to the weapon that's here. So that way we can come back and get it later on, should we decide it's worth our while to do that. Okay, so this is an A-level weapon, and it is um, a, yeah, right here. It, it's, we're, we're going to say it's 4.8 million. A level weapon. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some more life support, so let's just. Do I have anything to eat? No. Radiation protection. Okay. Alright, so um, we want to name this base. A class weapon and it was 
four, let's, let's just say 4.8 mil. So that way we know how much we need to bring back here to, to get it. All right, um, that's a good enough screenshot. We'll upload the base. And that way we can always come back here and we know what the uh, what the gun is when we come back. Or weapon or tool or whatever. It's kind of everything. All right, next thing we got to do is we have to make a generator. Um, so we need to go to buildable technology. And we need to learn a biofuel reactor. So we're going to need one salvage data for that. Okay, that's the next thing we got to do. So let's find the next salvage data. There's one over that way. Let's go get it. Radiation protection falling. Oh, we have a one of these things too. Let's see what's in here. More nanites. We will take them. Okay. Uh, let's turn that to big mode. And we should have two of those. Nice. Okay, let's go make the biofuel generator. Biofuel reactor, one metal plating and oxygen. That's cheap. Oh, we're out of room in our inventory. Let's uh, crack open these geodes. Alright. So... Can we put the biofuel thingy in here or does it have to be outside? Yeah, we can put it in here. So to put, uh, we put carbon in here. Uh, we got lots of carbon, so let's load that sucker up. Um, oh, you know what? We also need, I think we need to learn like a wiring tool or something now that I think about it. A little technology. Yeah, and that doesn't require anything. Nice. Okay, do we make that in here? Make it in our own inventory. I don't remember. Uh, structures. Is that that wouldn't be considered a structure, would it? Alright, I'm I'm guessing we just make that in our own inventory. see an option to do that okay so go back into here structure oh wait a minute hold on hold on we do that in the build menu not I, I'm confused here Leave. in here there we go okay yeah electrical wiring okay so do we how do we connect that There we go. And then we connected there. There we go. Okay. We are now powered up. Very good. Okay. This is going to advance us now in our, our storyline. Habitation program initialized. Explore the planet and expand your base. Base computer online. Okay. We have a new signal. Um... What we need to do now, I think it's going to send us to the space station, and then we can link the space station up with our base down here. Base computer log update, return to the base computer. Oh, we got to go to the base computer for Scotch. Gotcha. Okay.
accessing log from previous user 4925 Frank scanner detecting the user broadcast is it repeating 16 gazette from the space station warning end of archive Re records interrupted the base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. All right, so I believe we hop in here and we go up to space and we investigate the space station. But ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.